A new study from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention finds that leaving the middle seat open on airplanes could reduce COVID-19 exposure for passengers. But most airlines have stopped doing that. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live in Burbank at the airport with reaction from passengers. Tina. Good morning, Leslie. You know, the question is just how much of a difference could one empty seat make? According to this study, the risk of getting exposed to COVID-19 could drop by as much as 57% by keeping those middle seats free. Even though the CDC says people should not travel unless it's essential, airports are starting to get more crowded. Not everyone is worried about that. I feel safe. You know, they put you in good seating, a good area, and they pass out the mask and everything for you. In the beginning of the pandemic, several airlines blocked off the middle seats so passengers could spread out more. But Delta is the only airline still doing that, and only through the end of this month. So the flight was pretty crowded coming down, but I still, I feel pretty confident with everybody back being vaccinated. But a new study by the CDC and Kansas State University finds leaving middle seats open during a flight could reduce exposure to COVID-19 by 23 to 57 percent, depending on the modeling. The study conducted in the fall did not take masking into consideration, which is now required when flying. But the data shows physical distancing of passengers would be beneficial. Some passengers agree it would be nice if airlines did not fill middle seats. It's fun for us because we keep the middle one free. But, you know, if someone wants to sit there, I have no problem with that. Because some people say there is going to be a risk of exposure no matter how careful you are. Before boarding the plane, everybody's standing this close together. <laughs> and as we're all walking on, everyone's this close together. So it's, it's a matter, do you catch it in this five minutes or the next five minutes? Right now, the CDC is just sharing their findings. They are not making any new recommendations or rulings, so it's unlikely any airlines will change their policies. Leslie.